Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. Due to YouTube copyright infringement, we only use one picture with voiceover. Thank you for understanding. If you love history and biographies, please leave a like and a sub. Let's start the video. Walt Disney, 1901-1966, was a film producer, media magnate and co-founder of the Walt Disney Company. He was an iconic figure in the 20th century media and entertainment industry, helping to produce many films. With his staff, he created famous cartoon characters, such as Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. His name was also used for the successful Disney theme parks. During his lifetime, he received a record 59 nominations for the Academy Awards, winning 22 awards. Walt Disney was born on the 5th of December, 1901, in Chicago. His parents were of German, English and Irish descent. As a child, the Disney family moved between Mussolini in Missouri, Kansas City and back to Chicago. The young Walt Disney developed an interest in art and took lessons at the Kansas City Institute and later Chicago Art Institute. He became the cartoonist for the school magazine when America joined the First World War. Walt dropped out of school and tried to enlist in the army. He was rejected for being underage, but he was later able to join in the Red Cross and in late 1918 was sent to France to drive an ambulance. In 1919, he moved back to Kansas City where he got a series of jobs before finding employment in his area of greatest interest, the film industry. It was working for the Kansas City Film Ad Company that he gained the opportunity to begin working in the relatively new field of animation. Walt used his talent as a cartoonist to start his first work. The success of his early cartoons enabled him to set up his own studio called Laugh-O-Gram. However, the popularity of his cartoons was not matched by his ability to run a profitable business. With high labor costs, the firm went bankrupt. After his first failure, he decided to move to Hollywood, California, which was home to the growing film industry in America. This ability to overcome adversity was a standard feature of Disney's career. In 1927, the Disney studio was involved in the successful production of Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, distributed by Universal Pictures. However, with Universal Pictures controlling the rights to Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, Walt was not able to profit from this success. He rejected an offer from Universal and went back to working on his own. It was at this point that he created the character, Mickey Mouse, originally called Mortimer Mouse. UBI Works drew Mickey Mouse, and Walt gave a voice to the character. The Mickey Mouse cartoons with soundtracks became very popular and cemented the growing reputation and strength of Disney productions. The skill of Walt Disney was to give his cartoons believable real-life characteristics. They were skillfully depicted and captured the imagination of the audience through his pioneering use of uplifting stories and moral characteristics. In 1932, he received his first Academy Award for the best short subject, cartoons for the three colored of flowers and trees. He also won a special Academy Award for Mickey Mouse. In 1933, he developed his most successful cartoon of all time, The Three Little Pigs, 1933, with the famous song. Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf? In 1924, Walt Disney began his most ambitious project to date. He wished to make a full-length animated feature film of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Many expected it to be a commercial failure. But, using new techniques of filming, the production was met with glowing reviews. It took nearly three years to film, coming out in 1937 after Disney had run out of money. But the movie's strong critical reception made it the most successful film of 1938, earning $8 million on its first release. The film had very high production values but also captured the essence of a fairy tale on film for the first time. Walt Disney would later write that he never produced films for the critic, but the general public. Disney always had a great ability to know what the public loved to see after the success of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. The studio produced several other successful animations, such as a Pinocchio, Peter Pan, 
Bambi, under the wind in the willows. After America's entry into the Second World War in 1941, this golden age of animation faded and the studio struggled as it made unprofitable propaganda films. In 1941, Disney also had to deal with a major strike by his writers and animators. This strike left a strong impression on Disney. He would later become a leading member of the anti-communist organization, Motion Picture Alliance for the Preservation of American Ideals. The right-wing organization was also considered to be anti-Semitic. At one point, he, unsuccessfully, tried to brand his labor union organizers as communist agitators. However, in the 1950s, Disney distanced himself from the Motion Picture Alliance for the Preservation of American Ideals. However, by associating with the organization, he was often associated with the anti-labor and anti-Semitic philosophy it expressed. Disney was a Republican, though was not particularly involved in politics. It is often asked whether Walt Disney was anti-Semitic. Walt Disney believed in the benefits of a religious approach to life, though he never went to church and disliked sanctimonious teachers. During the war, there was much less demand for cartoon animation. It took until the late 1940s for Disney to recover some of its luster and success. Disney finished production of Cinderella and also Peter Pan, which had been shelved during the war, in the 1950s. Walt Disney Productions also began expanding its operations into popular action films. They produced several successful films, such as Treasure Island, 1950, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, 1954, and Pollyanna, 1960, in another innovation. The studio created one of the first specifically children's shows, The Mickey Mouse Club. Walt Disney even returned to the studio to provide the voice. In the 1960s, the Disney empire continued to successfully expand. In 1964, they produced their most successful ever film, A Mary Poppins. In the late 1940s, Walt Disney began building up plans for a massive theme park. Walt Disney wished the theme park to be like nothing ever created on Earth. In particular, he wanted it to be a magical world for children and surrounded by a train. Disney had a great love of trains since his childhood when he regularly saw trains pass near his home. It was characteristic of Walt Disney that he was willing to take risks in trying something new. After several years in the planning and building, Disneyland opened on July 17, 1955. Disney spoke at the address. The success of Disneyland encouraged Walt to consider another park in Orlando, Florida. In 1965, another theme park was planned. Walt Disney died of lung cancer on December 15, 1966. He had been a chain smoker all his life. An internet myth suggested Walt Disney had his body cryonically frozen, but this is untrue. It seems to have been spread by his employers, looking for one last joke at the expense of their boss. After his death, his brother Roy returned to lead the Disney company, but the company missed the direction and genius of Walt Disney. The 1970s were a relatively fallow period for the company, before a renaissance in the 1980s. With a new generation of films, such as Who Framed Roger Rabbit, 1988, and The Lion King, 1994.